This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. As we turn now to the ousted president of Honduras, Anjali. Well, we go now to Honduras, where the deposed president, Manuel Zelaya, remains within the Brazilian embassy in Tegucigalpa, where he's been staying, surrounded by soldiers and riot police since returning to his country two weeks ago. It's been nearly 100 days since President Zelaya was ousted by the Honduran military. Meanwhile, the Organization of American States told reporters Friday that representatives of the deposed president and the coup government led by Roberto Micheletti will likely begin talks this week. Micheletti reportedly said he would meet with his cabinet today to consider lifting an emergency decree limiting civil liberties. Well, for more on Honduras, we're going right now to the Brazilian embassy uh, to speak with the democratically elected leader, uh, the Honduran President Manuel Zelaya. Uh, President Zelaya, we welcome you to Democracy Now! Can you explain how you got into the Brazilian embassy and what is happening there now? Thank you very much. Estoy realmente I am facing great obstacles, but my spirit is um, strong. Y el apoyo de internacional. And I uh, have faith in the international support that I'm receiving. It's, uh, it's a very challenging problem. The connection is not particularly good. We're going to go to a break and we're going to come back. Again, we have reached President Zelaya inside the Brazilian embassy in Tegucigalpa in Honduras, where he has been under siege. Honduran soldiers are outside the embassy. There has been tear gas over the period that he has been there, holed up with a number of supporters and also reporters. This is Democracy Now! We'll be back with President Zelaya in a minute. Sembraré la palabra que mi padre, Martin Fierro, Cuando tenga la tierra, te lo juro semilla. En el mar de la suba, nuestro vino. Cantaré, cantaré. The great Argentine singer Mercedes Sosa, she died this weekend at the age of 74, considered the voice of Latin America. Her remains lay in state at the National Congress, where thousands of people have lined up to pay their respect to one of the uh, of Argentina's most iconic voices. She was singing Cuando Tenga La Tierra at a concert for peace in Managua in 1983. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Anjali Comet on the line with us from inside the Brazilian embassy. We have tried switching lines so we can get a better line. Is the ousted president Manuel Zelaya um, speaking to us uh, in Tegucigalpa? How did you get inside the embassy? That is one of the big questions, aside from whether you will be returned to power, that many people are asking President Zelaya. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Is this line dead? Is this line dead? This this line is good if you can speak directly into the phone. Muy bien, muy bien. La primera embajada que visité 
fue la embajada de Brasil. Brasil es una gran democracia, el presidente Lula es un gran demócrata y ha manifestado mucho apoyo por eh, apoyar, por revertir este proceso de el inicio de los golpes de estado en América Latina. Uh, I'm concerned that this is going starting a process of further uh, coup d'etats throughout Latin America. President Zelaya, uh, what are you demanding right now? ¿Qué está exigiendo ahora? We're calling for a dialogue. Las contestaciones del régimen de facto, de facto han sido más, repre, más represión. But the uh, de facto president has um, responded by just restricting liberties. Um, Andres Contreras is next to you in the uh, mission. We'd like to ask if he could try to translate. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with these lines, uh, but we are having difficulty understanding. Um, uh, Andres, if you could translate for the president right there. I will do that. I will do that. President explained that uh, the world was the most friendly country, and that is why he came here. No, you're not speaking. Uh, Andres, if you could speak directly into the phone, otherwise we cannot hear you. The president explained that Brazil is the country that was most friendly, and that is why he came here first to this embassy. And then uh, he talked about uh, the repression that this coup regime has directed against uh, the resistance. And are you speaking on speakerphone or directly into the phone? I'm speaking directly into the phone. The president has speakerphone, and we're going to turn that off. Okay. If you could turn that off, that would be good. I think we could understand you um, a lot better and just share the phone. He speaks, and then you speak. Anjali, you had a question for President Zelaya. Okay. President Zelaya. Hello. Okay. President Zelaya, um, if you could talk about whether there are going to be talks between your representatives and representatives of the coup government led by Roberto Micheletti. This is the latest news we've heard from the Organization of American States. Hay una intermediación de la Organización de Estados Americanos. The uh, OAS is taking uh, an active role to establish the dialogue. Y, y hemos determinado and we've decided tres puntos para que esa on three points of negotiation intermediación sea realmente confiable. To ensure that it is a good faith uh, negotiation and settlement. Primero, First, la firma del plan Arias de manera inmediata. Um, the Arias proposal needs to be uh, signed on to immediately. Segundo, Secondly, la formación de las comisiones de seguimiento para we el need plan Arias. to uh, create follow-up commissions and monitoring commissions for the RDS proposal. Y tercero, and thirdly, las comisiones de verificación internacional international y verification que de garantías a nivel nacional. Uh, must also be able to work with uh, national verifying missions. Uh, President Zelaya, what does the Arias Accord call for? Um, and what is your stance on that? And what is Micheletti's? <laughs> Estoy invitando a, a I'm que inviting el acuerdo de San Jose de manera inmediata. Uh, all parties to immediately sign on to the San Jose Accords. Con la presencia de los cancilleres with the, uh, de, de América Latina. Presence of uh, the chancellors of Latin American countries.